We are getting more details about the hours leading up to Sunday's deadly shooting. Hilly Golson spoke with one of the fraternity brothers of Steve Stevens, who was talking with him on the phone before the shooting. Hi, Hillary. Hi, Russ. Well, Jason Coltman, he thinks that he was probably the last person to speak with Stevens before he saw the shooting on Facebook. But it's possible the timeline means that was after Stevens killed Godwin. Clapman says he was like a member of his family. His children even called Stevens Uncle Steve. They never saw him behave violently. This is a modicum of a look inside Stevens' head. And that was the last posting I saw before I saw the, the actual act of... You were likely the last person. Yes. Steve Stevens talked with Jason Klotman and other friends this Easter. He said he planned a massacre. Dog, just call, just call, just call Jason or, or Gary and look at it, man. I can't talk to you right now, man. I'm Stevens killed a 74-year-old father and grandfather. A breaking point Stevens says he got to after he says he tried to get help. I'm at the point where I snap. See, the thing is, man, every time I try to talk to y'all, man, y'all always throw me off or, or, or just make it seem like it ain't. Uh, the Steve that is on the news now and has been on the news since Easter is not the same Steve that, uh, that I know. Klotman telling people tonight, don't wait to help someone. Make sure that you care for them, and if you see those signs, uh, don't be hesitant, don't be fearful, don't be scared that you are going to embarrass them. Do you feel like you were hesitant or fearful, or do you feel like you said the right things? I can't really say I said the right things. I can't really tell you if I said the right things when I spoke to him, because again, I didn't know the context of his apologies. And in that situation, it's always so hard to know. Klotman also says he didn't know about the extent of Stevens' gambling problems. He had no idea that he lost his home and filed bankruptcy. He says Stevens always wanted to hit milestones, get married, have kids. And when some of those things didn't happen, he thinks it's possible that they may have contributed to his state of mind. We, you, you and I talked about this. We both spoke with people who knew him well. And what I was told, as you were, is yeah. this was somebody who, for years, apparently had been crying out for help and never got it. And, you know, he even said that he talked to his mom. He uh, went to her home before this happened. We saw some of that on the Facebook rantings. Right. And that, for whatever reason, he wasn't getting the answers that he needed. And sometimes that has to come from a professional source. Yeah, it sure does. All right, Hillary Golson, thank you very much.